here with one of the rising stars in the instrumental music world. I'm talking about the lovely and talented Miss Katie Clark. How are you today? I'm really well, thank you. Excellent. Let's jump right into this. Now, for those audience members who haven't yet seen your show, what can they expect from an evening spent with Katie Clark? Well, without giving too much away, my show is really an act of two sides. There's a music side and a comedy side, and they meet in the middle with comic songs, which I've written myself. The music side is definitely a blend of virtuoso piano, but with a live band to give it a sort of funky, up-to-date dimension. And the comedy is very much topical about what's happening around us, and also experiences from my own life. What experiences did you have in your earlier years that kind of led you to want to pursue the career where you're traveling a lot and you are a solo entertainer? Well, I always loved the limelight, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved being on stage and performing. And piano, I feel it's in my blood. It's something I've always wanted to do. And seeing the world and being able to play the piano at the same time is the perfect job. What's your favorite part of being on stage? I'd have to say it's the different dresses I get <laughs> to wear. <laughs> shopping every, shopping every quite time. Often, yeah. New performance, new dress. <laughs> uh, no, it's the, the live aspect of it, the thrill. Every show is unique. A live audience, a live band, bringing what I do to people all over the world. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> been all over the world via yeah. cruise ship. Yeah. I'm sure you've had some amazing experiences. Can you share with our viewers at least one of your most memorable experiences? Yeah, one springs to mind and it's on my second ever cruise and I was playing just a solo act on the piano by myself. It was near the end of Chopin Bourse and we were in very rocky seas. Mm. And about three or four bars from the end the ship lurched and the piano just rolled away. Oh no. And left me without the piano. There was a huge gasp in the audience and I managed to sort of shimmy forward and finish and then they moved So you back. saved the day? I did save the day. The show must go on. Now just the other day from Fifty Shades of Grey an idea took root in her head. She gave herself gladly, wildly and madly that night to George in his bed. Can you share with our viewers who but you looked up to the most when you were a kid growing up and who you look George up to musically now? Well, growing up I liked the idea of blending comedy and music together. So people like Dudley Moore, Victor Borg and also Tom Lehrer were very inspirational to me. And now I'd say Tim Minchin. Or a fortnight overdue. I remember being taken to school by my dad in his car and he always blasted classical music and particularly piano music and some of the great virtuosos were very influential to me when I was younger. People like Ashkenazi, Horowitz, Rudenstein.
you'd like to know more on Katie Clark, visit her website at www.katieclarkpiano.com. Once again, I'm your host, Tommy Prue, bringing you all things music. This is Hollywood Music Circuit. Thanks for watching.